Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Top10Gamer.com. Today we're going to take a look at kind of a different PC compared to other ones that we've done. This is a mini ITX HT PC or home theater PC that can be used with SteamOS, it can be used with Windows. It's meant to put right in front of the television for all of your video games, your movies, your files, anything else that you want to do on it. You want to browse from your couch, you can do that. You want to uh, play an emulator and play the old PlayStation, you can do that. You want to uh, watch Hulu, stream Hulu, you want to stream Amazon Prime, whatever you want to do, you can do with this particular PC. Now, as I mentioned before, we're going to be putting together these builds over the next couple of months for our 2014 series to see exactly what kind of FPS we get in today's latest games. So I wanted to throw one in there that I wanted to been wanting to build for a long time for our other machines. I'll probably be selling those, see if I can get my money back so that we can do this in the future. But for this particular machine, uh, I just might end up keeping it. Again, I've wanted to put one under my entertainment center for a long time, and it's got a lot of pieces to the puzzle to, so that I can make the perfect uh, home, or home entertainment system in my living room. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the builds and the parts for this particular machine so that you guys can do this if you want in the next couple of months alongside me. Uh, for CPU, we've got the i5-4430. You could make a case that the FX8350 is going to be more efficient long-term here as a gaming CPU. However, the i5-4430 will not bottleneck on you. It's more energy efficient and it's faster in single-threaded tasks. Uh, it's not going to be faster in things like rendering or heavily threaded applications, but for something like a home theater PC, it just seems to make a lot of sense where I'm trying to do something energy efficient and cool. Uh, for our graphics card, I'm going to go with the HD 7850 this month. Uh, if you're going to build it this month, there's an FXX, XFX model on Newegg that has a $30 rebate that makes it about $140. Try to find your HD 7850 under $150. If you look around, uh, you can do that. That's why I'm putting a price range, price range on these builds now because I get so many people that say, hey, you know, you put together this build, but really I couldn't buy these prices for this price range. And Certainly, I'm not going to be able to help out everyone that lives, uh, you know, in a foreign country or whatever. But at least here, domestically, uh, if you look around, you should be able to find uh, these prices in this price range. Uh, for RAM, we're going to go with the G-Skill Rip Jaws. This is my favorite RAM. Uh, I guess everybody gets favorites. You, you guys, if you go with something else, I'm sure you'll be fine. But uh, for me in particular, this is my... Uh, RAM option of choice. If it's the same price as others, this is one I go with because I feel like it has better durability overall. And uh, in time, I think you guys will see that as well. Uh, for motherboard, we're going with the ASRock B85M-ITX. I wanted something simple. I'm not going to overclock here. Uh, something with an HDMI port. This particular board doesn't have Wi-Fi, so some of you may disagree with me there, but I'm going to hardwire my machine. I don't, I don't really want to try to use Wi-Fi behind my entertainment center. Don't know what kind of signal I'm going to get, so I'm going to, I'm going to stay safe and go with this particular motherboard and just, just run a, an Ethernet cable to it. Uh, for power supply, going with the CX500M. This particular power supply is almost always on rebate. This is the modular version, so I'm going to need all the cable management help that I can with this particular build. And so this one's the 80 plus certified model that'll last me a long time. It's good enough for me and it's pretty cheap too, under $50. That's the uh, CX500M. I think right now you can get it for 45 bucks, but that'll only probably last a few more days. Now for case, it's one that I've been itching to get my hands on, the Cooler Master 130, which has been showcased, showcased at CES uh, Las Vegas. They also have the Cooler Master 120, but I want the 130 model. It's got a better uh, mesh uh, feel to it. Uh, it's very breathable. It fits a full-size graphics card, which works very well with what I'm trying to do. Uh, in addition, you can use CPU cooling options in there. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing that because I don't plan on overclocking this particular machine. Uh, for hard drive, uh, go with something inexpensive like the Western Digital Blue 500 gigabyte version. You can get twice the capacity for probably another $10. So when I actually go to the build, go to build this, I'll most likely do that. But you know, I use a USB external hard drive. I've got a few of those USB 3 drives uh, pretty uh, substantially. And so for me, that's that's something where I feel like I have substantial capacity elsewhere, so I don't necessarily need it right there. Now, optionally, so this is besides the $600 to $700 price range, you could add a solid state drive in the Samsung 840. 
you go with one that's about ninety dollars for 120 gigabytes put your os on there and your your favorite games if you want those to run quickly uh, optionally you could also add a blu-ray drive the asus model a bc-12b1st is about fifty to sixty dollars and might be cool if you're trying to uh, minimalize your home theater situation get rid of another device that normally just sits there okay so that's my thoughts on a six hundred to seven hundred dollar uh, HTPC gaming rig uh, I'd love to know what you guys think you can uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below or ask me a question there you can also go to facebook.com slash top 10 gamer if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion I've uh, been able to uh, answer a lot of questions for some of our subscribers here and if you're building a PC I'd be glad to help uh, hopefully you like videos like this if you do like and subscribe as I mentioned almost every video the more subscribers we have the more likes the bigger the budget that I can put forth toward the channel and the bigger things that we can do so uh, if you guys like me and like this channel subscribe and we'll see you next time